Hey guys, Books Nelson here again with another video and today we'll be talking about this 100 overall shack. So why am I talking about 100 overall shack when 99.999% of you aren't going to get this card? Well, because that many of you will get the Dark Matter shack if you're opening these packs. Because there are so many shacks in these packs, I expect that uh, there are going to be some shacks flying out of there. So I wanted you to know what was available to you. Now I will have to say... This card has a 90 something three ball, which dramatically changes the effectiveness of the shot, although it doesn't change the actual shot, right, itself. So with that said, I do think in the mid range, it's gonna be very similar to the Dark Matter. I don't think the 84 with like a shoe bringing it to 88 with a bunch of badges, I don't think that's gonna be significantly different from what's going on here in the mid range. It'll read mostly from the three pointer where he has a much lower rating on those dark matters, that I think it'll be a difference, right? That haven't been said. Really horrendous animations from Shaq <laughs> with the shooting. They are going in. Um, what is the difficulty? This might be an all-star. Oh, it's an online versus. So I guess that's a fair gauge. But uh, yeah, uh, let's look at the handles, what he can do going to the basket. So actually, before we get into that, I will say this. I think this card can be dangerous off the triple threat. Uh, if you use the explosive triple threat options, just because he's going to stick dunk so fast off of that stuff that I think that could be a good usage for the card, uh, just getting into stuff like that and getting on the rim. I think that might be pretty good for him more so than it would be for other cards, just because once he gets into a dunk animation, I don't expect uh, him to be knocked out of that dunk animation anytime soon. Hold on, what's the, what's, the, what's the good one at? Hold on. I just did, I've been doing it this whole time, and now that I'm recording, I can't do it. There we go. So now I think the key here is after you do that, you want to stick dunk right away uh, to get out of that. Now, for his size ups, ah, he just doesn't have a lot of good dribbles, to be honest with you. Like, he's got a great snatch back. That's cool. His regular size up, what I like about his regular size up is I do think you can play... A very paced kind of style with Shaq so you can kind of get into the snatch and size people up and then explode late but yeah I think this card is buns I'm gonna keep it a buck with you I think this card is mostly a waste of space he has a good attack cross I think the one thing that could possibly save this card is if he just performs super duper well on the court just bullying people right like can he do that because he's just not going to shoot that great. He's not going to create that great. But can he grab every board? Can he, you know, get on the rim? Can he hit the surprising jumper? Because people aren't going to close out to him quite as much, most likely. Can he do those things? And to find out if he can do those things, we're going to go ahead and go straight directly into a gameplay. And get him into a uh, triple threat there. So this is obviously not my account. Um... So thank you to the person who let me use this account. Doesn't want to be shouted out, which is absolutely fine with me. I just appreciate the help. So let's just go in and triple threat and see what's shaking with this uh, Shaq card. I believe I've seen this guy's name before, this Corgi guy. I think this guy's probably at the top of the matchmaking, uh, this account, because JC2K has used this account before as well. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we've got a Giannis. We've got a Porzingis. Hopefully Shaq is going against that Porzingis. I would actually like to, oh my goodness, he said, I don't want anything to do with you. He said, screw this. I see 100 overall Shaq, Glenn Rice, and Michael Beasley, and I'm absolutely cooked. We're going to try one more time. And if I don't get a game this second time, I'm shutting it down and I'm not uploading this video. And I'm just going to call Shaq trash in the comment section. I'm actually curious what this guy might be saying. That George Mikan is probably calling me a sweat, a whale, everything under the sun. Shaq, let's go. Oh, he got his own rebound. I like that. Glenn Rice doing Glenn Rice things. 
sound, turn the sound back off. Apologize. All righty. Let's see what we got going here with this Kobe. Shout out to I'm using the Pink Diamond Kobe. Still love that card. Shaq did not get that rebound. That's a pretty bad offense. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think my opponent... And I'm, I'm literally trying to mash with Shaq because I want to see if he gets ridiculous animations. Like, that's the key. Does he get the silly stuff? And, oh, I don't know what these controls are. All right, let's try some triple threat stuff with Shaq. Off the snatch. I should probably tell my guys not to be in the lane. Sorry, I got to do it. He's off balling so hard. I got to do it. I got to do it. Let's see what Kobe's got going. Mm. Don't love that the game gives you that. Just, just, I would like to see an advantage first, like where I turn a certain way. See if we can get Shaq rolling to the basket. So he doesn't think Shaq can shoot. Can we make him pay? No, we can't. <laughs> we cannot make him pay. Let's hold on to it a little longer next time. All right, so he's not going to on-ball me with Shaq here, I don't think. Um, are we going to hit him with the bread and butter, baby? Oh, no, never mind. Michael Beasley cut to the basket like an idiot. Off-balling again. Is he? Oh, I think this guy might be player-locked. Hold on. Are you player-locked? Oh, okay. Bread and butter for you. And there you go, guys, the bread and butter combo. If somebody on-balls you, you got to test them, see if they can guard that bread and butter. And uh, if they can't, then you give them the work. All right, well, if he's, I thought he was off balling, but he's apparently just player locked with Kobe, which I respect. Oh, no, he's not player locked. Huh, he was playing like he was player locked. All right, Shaq. Oh, and see, Shaq gets beat off the dribble there. Now, I wasn't playing the best defense. That's not the point. The point is I wanted more. You know what I'm saying? And he's cooked. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Easily. One dribble pull up. I missed it. Held it. Oh, man, this fireball. I don't know why you guys play with this fireball, man. I cannot see my releases with this fireball. I hate it so much. You guys saw in the other gameplay, I literally did not miss a shot with Beasley. I can't remember the last time I missed a shot with Michael Beasley. Y'all throw that fireball on there. And now you got me out here. Looking crazy with Beasley. Hmm, good jump on Pippen. AI Pippen. Sellout squad. All right, let's see. See, if Shaq had a good escape, that would be such a good opportunity. Right there. Can we get a lean to Rube Beasley? No. Nah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to pull up. I mean, I meant to. Good shot. All right, this isn't a Beasley gameplay. It's supposed to be a Shaq gameplay. All right, can Shaq do anything in the post here? What you got? Well, if you're going to play like that, you're going to get dunked on. That doesn't count. That was just terrible post defense. <laughs> that doesn't count at all. <laughs> all right, that's a terrible take. Man, this Shaq stinks. And listen, I understand. I, like, I fully understand that I'm going into the teeth of the defense. I'm just, because the thing is, if he can't do that, then there's no point of the Shaq card at all. You know, it's like, if he can't get those cool animations, then what am I, you know, I could use anybody else to be, to do the other jobs better. Uh, trying to guard on ball, bread and butter. Bye. I didn't even stick dunk it. Just, just took the win. Another terrible take. He gets rewarded for it. It's a good video game. Gets right into the teeth of the defense. Ah, man. I don't want to make this a Glenn Rice gameplay, but it's hard, man. Because it's just so easy to cook him. And Shaq is so worthless. 
and I don't have Glenn Rice. So this is when I get to enjoy this. Come on, Shaq, show me something. On Kobe, right? I should have definitely 100% kicked that out to Glenn. Man. Ah, this Shaq card. I'm not a fan. Give me Artist Gilmore any day of the week. I don't know what, we're, what, what this is leading to. Thank you. Ah, man, let me tell you something. These DM Shaq cards, this is the 100 overall version. And I could have hit that three. That's on me. The three's on me. But this, this 100 overall, man, these DMs being in there, that's a good shot. Good shot. I just don't like it. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good. I think it's bad for the game. It ruins the collections. Yeah, he's cooked. Not even going to stick dunk. All right. GG's to my opponent. Obviously, not the sweat that we got in the other gameplay. But yeah, with Shaq, it's like I was saying before. You sag off the card, and he's basically cooked. I think he can hit leaners and stuff like that in the mid range, but the animations are so bad. And he doesn't, I don't feel like he has an advantage going to the basket that justifies all of the other bad stuff about the card. Is he a worthless card that's totally unusable? In every capacity, uh, I don't know if I'd go that far. He's fine. I would rank him probably more in the B tier of centers. Definitely not A tier. Or, um, ah, sorry, buddy, I got you a uniform. Tried to get you that twelve fifty. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't rank him in the A tier. I don't think he's as good as most of the good centers in the game. I just think his shot, three point shooting is just too important, and I don't think he has enough of an advantage going to the basket. To really justify his existence but quite frankly unless you're a Shaq fan and doing like a Lakers squad or a magic squad I don't remember all of the cards that are there um I saw that Suns good lord Sun Shaq what are we doing but yeah unless you're a fan and doing that kind of stuff you you honestly lost out like I would unironically I'd rather any of the dark matters than one of these Shaq cards any of them even De'Aaron Fox even Draymond, I haven't even seen his jump yet. Even if Draymond's jumper is terrible, I'd rather have a point guard that can't shoot but defends awesome than like small forward. <laughs> Just saying the words are ridiculous. Small forward Shaquille O'Neal. That's going to shut it down for this video, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'm very, very sorry for you if you got screwed by 2K and wound up with one of these terrible Shaq cards. And if you like the Shaq card and if you disagree with me, please let me know in the comment section if you have a gameplay showing how awesome Shaq is, let me know in the comment section. I would love to stand corrected and actually have good Shaquille O'Neal cards in the game. I'd love to be wrong. But as it is right now, I have not seen anything about the Shaq card with what I know about 2K24 to justify this collection, and we're only going to see more of the same. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. Peace.